brief, uh, the one that I want to talk about since Trump became president, and I had to work and try to bring in uh, this first uh, slide because many of them were asking everywhere, hey, how does it change? And uh, as far as immigration is concerned, because Trump is the president. So definitely, in my opinion, it's going to be changed. But again, what is the good, bad, whatever it is, the time is going to change, uh, tell us. But definitely, we should be ready and embrace the change that's going to come ahead. So in every year, and in my job, what I do, I meet uh, several law firms around the world who are our customers and some of our prospects. And even I go and meet corporations who are our customers, some of them are prospects who always would like to understand what do they see as a trend that is changing in the industry. So I basically compiled some of the changes that I see is coming in, uh, in the industry. There are two things that I've been hearing in the last 12 to 18 months is there is an uh, increased focus from the corporations on uh, global immigration, which is basically non-US. It is not that they're not, there is no focus on US immigration, but there is an uh, increase in global non-US based uh, uh, countries immigration. Uh, that is for a service provider or even the corporations, this is the skill set or uh, function that you have to develop in your organization. Next one is the technology adoption. I still remember in 2000, I used to go to a, when we started I in a Zoom, and I can tell you a story. There is a law firm I met in a conference, and it's a good sized law firm. They had 10 people in their office. They liked the demo that I did. They said, Omesh, why don't you come to our office tomorrow, and uh, maybe next week we'll get started. So I said, okay. They signed up, signed the contract, everything. And in the early days, I used to do the training myself. I went there on site and uh, said, okay, let's get started. They said, okay. Then I said, let's connect to the internet. They said, what is internet? That was a question the law firm staff asked me. They said, you know, without the internet, this product doesn't work because it's gonna run on the internet. So where do we get that? So I had gone there completely prepared to for the training. And uh, I had to literally stop. And I sat there, educated the partner about the internet, and uh, took uh, yellow pages. We didn't have Google that time. So called. Uh, uh, a local telephone company and ordered a, a DSL cable to their office. Then I came back after two weeks and do the training and continued with them. So today, if you compare that, then 84% of Americans use internet versus 52% in 2000. And even in the uh, Hispanic community in the US, 81% of them and they use internet today. So based on the survey, the 47% of the consumers are likely to retain a service provider that uses technology. I think the same thing applies to the companies too. Uh, you know, if you have foreign nationals working for you and they are going to ask for better technology to get information for themselves. And we all know that you know, search engine like Google or Bing, you know, they can basically provide you information about, the, about immigration policy around the world uh, right through a quick search in the system. But they may not substitute a lawyer, but again, there is an increased reliance on uh, online technology. So this is another uh, trend I have been seeing myself personally. In last 15 years, you must have seen well, the leadership that used to lead immigration function, they're slowly moving out and there's a new blood coming into the market. And uh, the team that leads this immigration teams in these corporations, they are demanding uh, better foreign nationals, better HR portals, better reporting where they can do it on them themselves online as opposed to asking for a report that's sent in Excel sheet. So this is basically becoming an uh, increased need from the millennial leadership that's coming in. In conclusion, I would see that uh, with uh, Trump being a president, it's going to get more complicated and uh, in the United States. But again, in other countries, as you know, it is not as easy as US immigration is. So as the companies try to push your uh, staff to our employees to go and work in our other countries. So the, there are going to be more complexes going to arise and uh, the companies have to kind of work on uh, seeking the right help from the service providers and uh, also you know, adopt technology to you know, cut the cost. And again, I would like to thank you all for uh, being uh, part in this event. And uh, uh, Jake, uh, thank you. Again, uh, we have a two-day event, 
I would really love to see all of you again for tomorrow's event. Thank you. Thank you, Mesh.